Hey guys, so I already previously curled my hair for this video just for the sake of time, but if you guys want to know how to do this, just let me know and I'll make a tutorial. So first off, what I'm doing is I am just making my eyebrows red because obviously mermaid's hairs that are different colors are natural, so that's what I did. And I off video powdered it a little bit just to calm it down because I thought it was a little too bright. Now I'm just doing my regular foundation routine, but I'm doing it a little more extra foundation than I do normally just because mermaids are known for, you know, like their perfect skin and everything. So now I'm taking a blue face paint and putting a card on my contour line just so it'll be a nice sharp contour and then I'm also bringing it up to my temple and doing it on the other side of my face as well. And I'm also doing it a little bit on my ears just because I thought it kind of created a little bit more mermaidy look. And now I'm taking the same blue that I used and putting it all over my lips. By the way, the color I used was aqua blue and I dulled it down with a little bit of white just so it wasn't as strong of a blue. Now I'm just taking a darker blue and outlining around my mouth just to give it kind of a little bit more depth than just, you know, bright blue lips. And then after that, I just kind of smudged it in and made it a little more ombre-ish. Now I'm taking a dark green eyeshadow and a kind of flat br blending brush, and I'm creating scales by just dipping it into the green and swiping it in a half circle motion. I did it kind of messy at first, and then after I got them kind of placed where I wanted, I did connect them a little bit better and just kind of kept going until I was happy with the added effect that the fins and scale like gave. And then for around my cheeks, since there wasn't very much room, all I did was do a little V, kind of like the way people draw birds, and then a half circle, and then a little V, and then a half circle, all the way down until I reached the end of the blue. And then I took a little bit more of that green and went under the line of the contouring. Now I'm taking a shimmery blue and applying that all over my entire eyelid and a little bit in the corners. And also a little bit underneath the side of my eye. Now I'm going in with that darker green again and creating a V on the outer corner of my top eyelid. And then taking a fluffy blending brush, just kind of smudging that out a bit so it's not a harsh line or anything. Now I'm taking a dark brown eyeliner and wa uh, lining underneath my waterline and just the outside corner of my top eyelid. Very messily. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm smudging it out with just a regular angled brush until it comes to a V. And then just applying some mascara. Cute faces, I know. Don't forget the bottom lashes. Now I'm just taking red paint and creating the gills. Just putting three lines and I did it with an airbrush so I did go in and clean up a little bit with the makeup wipe just to make it a solid line. And that's the pretty half of this look. If you want to turn it into a little more gory, stay tuned. Now I'm taking a Rigid Colidian and just applying it on the outside corner of my mouth, letting it dry, and then repeating this step until the scar gets deep enough that I actually like it, like so. And I also applied some on my chest as well. 
And now I applied some on my chin, and then I apply it by my nose, kind of under my eye. And what I did, I did the same thing, is I just apply it, wait for it to dry, and just keep adding layers until I'm happy with the depth of the scars. Sorry this one's a little bit out of focus, but now I'm just going in with some red on top of the scars. Just to make them look a little bit more sunken in. And I'm just using a regular angled eyeliner brush. And then smudging it out with my finger because I don't want it to look perfect or anything. And then powdering it and I just keep smudging until I'm happy with it. Now I'm taking a little bit of fake blood that I just got from a Walmart and just letting it drip down the one scar underneath my eye. And don't worry if it's like a little bit messy because I'm not just going to leave it there. It's just for kind of the texture and the lines it'll leave. Now I'm going in with a makeup wipe, stopping the drips and then just dabbing it so it looks kind of like an old wound that's still healing. And I just dabbed it until I kind of was happy with the effect. And then I took a little bit of the extra and put it near my chin as well. Now I'm just going in with a regular eyeliner pencil and creating a look as if I've been crying because I got caught or like I've been hurt. And then just keep adding and smudging, adding and smudging until you're happy with the added effect. And there we go, a caught mermaid. I wanted to keep it a little bit simple so that everybody could do it, but it's also a really nice effect as well. So I hope you guys like this, and I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Bye guys!